I have always had an interest in history and uh, talking to people, I find out that there are a lot of people that have the same interests as I do. And I developed this program to show people things they might not see in pictures or in a museum, things they're interested in, like all the other parts of women's clothing and fashion throughout the years that you just don't get a chance to see in a movie or in a book. You do it live like this? I decided to do this live to show people the time that it takes. And you can't show that in a book. You need to actually see the process of dressing to really appreciate what these women went through back then for the sake of fashion. Uh, it's very, very eye-opening to most people. They didn't realize that much time went into it. They usually have a basic knowledge of Victorian women that they dressed in a lot of layers, but they don't, I think it's very interesting to people to see it actually done. You can really appreciate it more that way. Most of my things in my collection I've accumulated over years. Uh, I have had some just because I've been interested in this for a long time. But when I started putting these programs together in my mind, I started seriously collecting, mostly at the internet, friends, um, antique shops. Some have been gifts, um, mostly eBay, seriously. I go out and look for specific things that are not museum quality because I know people will be touching them and I, they're mine, so I invite them to do that. It's a rare opportunity that you get to actually see these things up close. I do think it's very important because everything we have now that we take for granted, women fought to change or these, these things just came about. We don't even understand where they came from. All the te technology from fashions to medicine uh, were, were learned and, and changed and fought for. And so many of these young girls have no idea why we even do what we do today where that even came from, that does come from history. I want to put a voice on history. I want to stand there and be history so people can understand rather than just reading a book. I think people um, really um, understand it better if they can see it and touch it. The best part, my favorite part, are the conversations that come out of this. And every program is different depending on the questions that are asked. And we may completely go off you know, course in a conversation depending on what the people want to know. That's what's interesting. They might not even think to ask until we start showing them things and that makes them think of something else or something that they remember their grandmother or great-grandmother doing. Um, and their questions pretty, pretty much dictate what we talk about in the program. I do, plan, I do plan on continuing this because there's still more people that want to see it. It amazes me how long people stay afterwards and talk and ask questions and look at everything. Um, I enjoy immensely going out and presenting this to all ages of people. I do, plan, I do plan on continuing this because there's still more people that want to see it. It amazes me how long people stay afterwards and talk and ask questions and look at everything. Um, I enjoy immensely going out and presenting this to all ages of people. I, I will do it as long as I can.